I hit the control panel with this. I, I swung the electro hammer. I suddenly notice. Wait. The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. What are you doing? Hurry up! Okay. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Uh oh, did something happen? Oh my. The electric barrier turned off! Everyone. We all ran to the shutter at once. Oh, we won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore! Yeah. You'd better be ready! This is it! Oh, right. The remnants of despair end here and now! After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand? To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. What? What? <laughs> A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar! <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going! The despair is not over yet! What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Yeah. Is that blood? It can't be. This body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? Who? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. Huh? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Huh? Those clothes! They're Kaito's. What did you say? Then the one in that hydraulic press is... It's not possible. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game's all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. Hold on, we have to investigate, so the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue? The killing game is continuing, and Monokuma is still moving then. That's right. It means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. What was that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Uh... Kaito? That's, wrong. That's not possible! There has to be some mistake! There's no way Kaito could die! It has to be a lie! I made a run for the body when... <sighs> Calm down! Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait. It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right, I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. <laughs> He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away. No. 
Wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is this killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaito's alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible. I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually. And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the Exiles at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying it's possible. And even then, if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. But how? Does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it. That's impossible. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito's dead. But I just can't believe that, or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito's dead. Um, Let's investigate. I, we need to find the truth here, with our own hands, and reveal that truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because A class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. You're right, if the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. <sighs> but we already know the answer. What? But we can't die here, we decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Junko Inoshima cherished the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worship her, I don't think they ignore those. Then... then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. That's true! I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then... Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. The body was discovered in the Exocil hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. That's it? That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. It's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but, but... Kaito told me. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaito back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Um, There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow, but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then... It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. He was an electronic appliance after. <laughs> don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side a bit. I think I'll start investigating too. Will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine with for all of us to investigate by ourselves. Himiko left in a hurry. 
Wait, what's happening to everybody? Wait, oh, you're over there. I wonder if Himiko suspects everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who can be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be, could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony? Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in this trap. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have that much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining, I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Wait, so... I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. So, it's not Kaito? Is it possible that's somehow not Kaito? Could it be that they just placed his jacket there for, like, just to think that Kaito's dead? The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Okay. Yeah, it won't be much use of, to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. That's it's nice. fine, it's fine! It masks its appearance at a murder scene, bringing this sense of relief and peace of mind. One attention hog. Of course I want attention, I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Sumugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Okay, whatever. What advertising? Ignore it, let's just focus on the investigation. Okay, what do you, what do you have to say, Himiko? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's no. dead. That's not... I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, I'll give you afro hair with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that, is she that suspicious of everything right now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Okay, what's this? There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Wait, are we going to do it? Hydraulic press. The hydraulic press is down, and there's blood in the area. This hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. Hmm. I don't really want to do that, though. Wait, really? I can't just do it? What is this, a blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swipe pattern, as if drag. It looks like it's coming from the restroom. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the restroom to the press. They killed... Kaito in the restroom and then bring him here? This is my this is my uh, current hypothesis right now. Exosol green. There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside. Huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. The hatch is open? How strange, only the monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Normally, the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well. Normally being the key word. But because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um, Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope, no one's asked me about it either. 
Not even Kokichi? And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. I don't believe that. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the access lanes. But if you could disable the lock, you could control the access lane. So, whoever died in here, which might be presumably Ko uh, Kaito, was killed by the Exazel? How come there's only one, um, Exazel, though? Weren't there- isn't there a second- isn't there a second one that's supposed to be in here? These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. But I have to do it. All right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. It's not moving? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange, it moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... The power cord is cut. I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped. The press automatically. Stop automatically. So... If so, a person can't be crushed underneath here. Painting machine. Looks like a machine used to paint exosols. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks the same as before. Probably not related to the case. Washing machine. This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Okay, go to the go to the restroom. This is the restroom. Now I think about it. No, I'm locked up in the bathroom, but Kukuichi is just outside that door. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. No, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. What happened here? Okay, monitor. That's the toilet. There's a crossbow here? A crossbow? This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? And then... A glass bottle? There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. This label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be? If it is poison, this bottle must be hmm. taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Okay. Crossbow arrow? There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and blood on all of them. Uh, um... What is this? What happened? And then trace the blood. The blood stain. Pull up blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? This it? A 
Black case? What's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito heads to the far shell. What's in it? Is this some kind of weapon? This is the case from before, right? Is there more? The window, maybe? Small window for ven ventilation. This is... The same window from before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Oh! Maybe Maki brought stuff to Kaito or something. Hmm. Maybe that's why those are here. There are more clues than I thought there, Dian. One is particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? And that bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. So is this everything? In this place? Can I examine the cord? No? Oh, there's another Exazole over here! The red exile is completely still. Hey, Shuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without Mono Cubs or a Kokichi. It's just a pile of scrap then? Hey! Don't scare me like that. My Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. But I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move at, at any time by remote. Why didn't you say so sooner? That is if Kokichi is alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exazoles. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Okay, how about this? If a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on though. No. Wait, what's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Huh? Wait, didn't I investigate this er earlier? I suppose that's all the information I could do from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. That's all I can investigate here in the hangar. There are still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. Now I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Okay. With that being said, that is going to be it for this episode of Danganronpa V3. So, as far as we know, Kaito is the most likely to be the victim of what we just saw. But due to the fact that the monocouple file does not list who died, it could either be Kaito, Kokichi, or maybe even both. So... I don't know. This is crazy. This is a very crazy case. But, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And next time, we are going to investigate the victim's body in 
the next class trial. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.